Good day, students. Welcome to Hematology. So, for our today's topic, we will talk about microhematocrit reading. First, we have to prepare the materials flashed on your screen. Collect an ample blood using a capillary puncture, filling up two-thirds of your capillary tube. Seal the tube using the tube sealing compound and wax. Using a microhematocrit centrifuge, always remember that the sealed area should touch the rubber part of the centrifuge or else your sample will wash out. Again, always put the rubber part and the sealed part together or else your sample will wash out. Close the lid of your centrifuge and centrifuge your sample for around 10 minutes. It's okay to over centrifuge your sample but do not prematurely remove it for it may cause false increased reading with our hematocrit. Using a microhematocrit reader, place the capillary tube on the top of the well on the measurement plate of the device. The end part of the tube where the seal and sample collide should be aligned to the bottom line of the microhematocrit reader, and the top part of the plasma will be aligned on the slanted line. The vertical slide should be placed where the buffy coat and the pack red cells meet each other following the line of intersection from the vertical slider of graduations of the microhematocrit. In this, you can see that the reading of the patient is 0.47. So as summary, first we will collect our sample. Then after we collect our sample, we will seal our capillary tube and centrifuge it using a microhematocrit centrifuge for 10 minutes. And after that, we will use a microhematocrit reader to check for our sample. So that's for now and I hope to see you on our next video. Goodbye!